which is that again I've been passing by coming from Naisna and we just couldn't help it but to stop by this bay is beautiful we saw sunlight and the sun is coming out again <laughs> oysters are really fresh here that's what I like about it the price let me tell you the price is not that cheap it's actually the same price as in the US for the oysters but we're talking about fresh big oysters so it's really good It like you're moving, but you're not. Oh, it's eating the fish. It got the fish. The dog is very smart. When the whale comes, it just go down. That's exactly oh, how you're supposed big. to do it with big waves. Oh, no, it's falling back. Oh, I think we're getting wet. It's getting bigger and bigger, and the dog is still there. This one with twin beds. There. We'll stay in here since that one's a separated bed. So we're gonna just stay in this one. Um, this is gonna be our bedroom tonight. And let me take a look at the view outside. Welcome to George. This is George uh, Western Cape. Uh, we just came from Naisna and we are going to Cape Town tomorrow where we're so excited. We have a lot of things to do in uh, uh, Cape Town. But uh, this specific place that we're staying at in George is extremely nice. I really, really liked I like this place a lot. It's a property right on the golf course and it's so secure there's like 
electric fence everywhere you need access to get into the property but what's so awesome about it is that we have amazing hosts they are just so sweet and nice they take old couples living in this house they live downstairs and they accommodated everything for us that i don't even need to bring my own um, body wash or shampoo they just have everything and it's not low quality stuff that they put out either it's nice um so i'm very excited and i'm so grateful to have such great host it is a bit far off from everything else you do need a car to get around so for people who travel a lot um and it convenient they might not enjoy off the road type of property like this but for us we have a car so we don't mind at all going around and do our own thing but it is extremely nice and beautiful over here i cannot wait um hopefully we can do something in george before we head to cape town this is where we're gonna have our dinner in george it is called pure craft and food This is the view from the restaurant. So I'm trying this uh, white wine over here, it's supposed to be set, semi sweet. A little bit sweet, not that sweet, but pretty good. Light and refreshing. It has a lot of fruit flavor, that's what I selected. So semi sweet. Fruity and it's really good. Handmade, right here. Soft, moist. A little bit sweet. And it's so delicious. Like what the hell is it made of? It's so good. It has some snail and cheese. Snail, um, blue cheese snail. Here. I'm gonna dip it in, but I love the bread after this though. I really like it. Mm. Best bread ever. Come here, get this bread too. And also, I want to give a note that this is also the best blue cheese I've ever had. It's not at all strong or like in flavor of blue cheese. It's just light blue cheese with the snail. And so it's not overpowering the snail flavor. It is so good. So good.